<clears throat> All right, greetings, YouTube. This is uh, Beautiful Mind. Uh, so we have a question that comes in on graphing logs. So let's take a look at it. <clears throat> so this question comes in. It says the figure. Let's see. Can we make this? Yeah. So it says the figure on the right shows the graph of f of x equals log base 2 of x. It says use transformations of this graph to graph the given function. Um, find the graph's vertical asymptote domain and range. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go back here. And we have that here. Okay. So now, if my parent function or my base function, my f of x is equal to log base 2 of x. So this is just a log function. Notice with that original function, log function has a vertical asymptote. It starts off from the bottom, it comes up, and then it goes off to the right, right? So now we have this h of x, right? Uh, that's the log base 2 of x plus 4. Now this is actually a discussion out of college algebra where it's just transformations. So let's try to write h of x in terms of f of x. Now notice that h of x is nothing but f of x plus 4, right? If you put the plus 4 inside of f of x, and you get h of x. Um, so then in this form, we see that we add 4. We add a positive on the inside of our, our parent function. So when you add a positive on the inside of your function, it actually it's, it's a horizontal manipulation, so it's going to move it side to side. Now you would think that a plus 4 would move to the right on the x-axis, but the inside does the reverse of your natural intuition. So instead of going to the right, this actually should go to the left four units. So this transformation says that we should go left four units. So we should go left four units. So then if, if this is the original, the only one that goes left four units is C. So my claim is that the first one is C. This is the kind of work I'm looking for on an exam. You'll have what you see here, and then you have your multiple choice. Now, if you just choose an answer, typically multiple choice is all or nothing, but if you have like supporting work, you, you know, you want to have the supporting work because sometimes I'll go through and it's like, okay, let me look at the work. You know, some, but a lot of times for multiple choice on an exam, I just do all or nothing. <clears throat> but, you know, if you can show supporting work and it's a, it's a proper, then, you know, I'll consider it. Uh, so the vertical asymptote, so it goes from the y-axis, if it goes left, so then <clears throat> we're going to say that the vertical asymptote is going to be at x equals negative 4. So, the, so it went from 0 to the left, so it went uh, to negative 4. And then the domain. So if we're saying c is the correct, where purple, the pink is our h of x. So the domain is the very left to the very right. So the domain of this is going to go from, it goes down to negative 4, and it goes off to the right up to positive infinity. Infinity always gets a parentheses. In this case, because at negative 4, we have an asymptote, we get really, really close to it, but we never reach negative 4. So that would be the domain. And then the range for log the very bottom to very top, it goes all the way down to negative infinity. And even even though it looks like it levels off, it takes a really long time to get to like 5, 6, 10, 20, 100, a million going positive. But because there's no vertical asymptote, it actually continues to in incline. Uh, it continues to climb. We call that mon monotone increasing, which means it, it steadily continues to increase. And there's no asymptote, so it actually keeps going. Um, so the range goes from negative infinity up to infinity. Okay, so this is the kind of stuff. So here's a domain and range with the vertical asymptote and that graph. So then let's um let's try these results on Pearson. So we this is all in Pearson. Uh, so we said C and there's actually a D there, um, but we said that the results should be C. So we're gonna check that. Well done. Uh, the vertical asymptote type an equation. So we said x equals negative 4. x equals negative 4. Fantastic. The domain, we said from... <clears throat> so we want to do parentheses. We said negative 4 up to infinity. Cool, that looks good. Enter. Fantastic. 
and then the range, the very bottom to the very top. So we're going to do the very bottom was negative infinity up to positive infinity. Fantastic. Okay. So with that, we will end the session here. And from one beautiful mind to another, enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, <clears throat> also, if you like these type of videos, you know, be sure to share, uh, like, and subscribe. Let me see if I got a YouTube. Uh, I don't really want to go to my YouTube, but let me pull it up anyway. Uh, okay, so we'll get there. So, like, if I go to my channel, you know, so, like, if you're watching the video, oh, I'm going to stop this. Okay. So, you know, if you like these kinds of videos or whatever, you know, so you have the share button. Um, and then hit the subscribe button and be sure that your notifications are on. You know, let me see if I can, well, it's not going to let me do it. But, you know, you want to make sure, subscribe and then make sure that your notifications are turned on so you can be updated when I do uh, certain videos. Uh, also, you know, there will be a link for donations. Uh, donations of any size are greatly appreciated. And they just, you know, go to the cause. Um, so that more we can continue to do things like this. Um, but... I am of the philosophy that I agree with, uh, like, uh, Khan Academy, where education should be free. In this day and age, it doesn't make sense to be charging people for this kind of stuff. It's like, let's free ourselves. You know, let's do this, you know, because, you know, it's like if you can kind of operate outside of money, then, you know, things, I think things are a lot easier, you know, in my opinion. It's like a lot of people kind of don't do things and have all these hangups around money. So it's like if money is like the root of all evil and it's causing all this, this these hangups, then let's just go around it and find another way until, you know, we have to do what we have to do. Uh, but right now, with the way society is set up, we do have to kind of ask for some kind of monetary donation. But, again, I'm able to offer this because right now YouTube is allowing us to do this for free. I have been looking for uh, quite a while for this kind of thing, and I finally found it. So if other people can do it, I can do it too. If I can do it, you can do it, you know. And so um, because the service is free, I can offer it for free, and it just takes a few minutes out of my day to kind of, post these videos um so um but we'll close it out there and from one beautiful mind to another um enjoy the rest of your day mm -hmm.